right, so we're gonna start rolling out our spine. Oh. And for me right now, when I roll my, my um, upper back, so you wanna stay, I know I always say this, and you guys know this, but I always have to say it again. Um, just stay off of your neck and stay like above your floating ribs, about a, above your floating ribs, as long as you're not feeling like pain or pressure back there as you roll. Just roll it down. And then you can also roll a little more towards one side and just roll up and down there. I gotta tuck my shirt in, it keeps getting tangled in the roller. Oh. Oh, this gets your upper traps a little more, gets your rhomboids, all those shoulder muscles that get all crunchy. And if you haven't already, you can roll a little more towards the other side. Let's set our hips down once you feel pretty even. Oh, that felt really good. <sighs> Have the roller behind your um, like mid-back, like shoulder blade area. Let's do some curls. So hands behind head. And as you inhale, arch over the roller. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arch over. Exhale, curl. Go four more. Three, two, and one. And then lower over the roller, just relax for a couple of breaths there. And then step to it a little higher this time. So it's a little closer to right underneath your shoulder blades. And then let's keep curling here. All right, go breath in. Inhale lower. Inhale lower. Lower down, and then let's take a little um, twisty curl, side bendy curl. So, actually, let's start with just the regular twist first. So you're gonna curl twist towards one hip a little as you curl up. Lower down, curl twist towards your other hip a little, and then lower down. You have to adjust your roller if it's sliding out from under you. And exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Let's go until you're even. And then once you're even, set your hips down. And let's do a little circle. So you're going to bend to the left, curl up to center, bend right, lower right, and then center. So left, center, right, lower center. Two more like this. Right, lower center, left. Center, right, lower center. And then let's reverse it. So you're gonna bend right, curl to the right, left, lower to left, right, curl right, left, lower left, right, curl right, left, lower left, one more, right, center, left, lower center. Whatever you wanna do resting here, you can hang out and stretch, you can roll up and down your spine a little bit. That's what feels really good to me. I'm just holding this one spot where I'm getting a good stretch through my chest, actually. Oh. Oh. 
Let's put the roller out of the way for now. Don't worry, it'll come back. I haven't talked yet today, so we gotta do that. I told you to do my arms, they're my favorite. They're my new favorite. But like, this is the key to being good in your body. <laughs> All right, so lean on your side. Just have your knees towards your chest, however you're most comfortable. And your arms are straight out ahead of you, and they're stacked like this. And you'll start by stretching your top arm a little longer. You're going to let your chest twist to the floor a little bit. And then draw your shoulder blade in towards your spine. Start to drag your top arm across your arm, across your chest. And then you'll let it open so your arms are in a T. And you're in a little bit of a twist with your chest up to the sky. And bend your elbow. Bring your palm back to your shoulder. Drag it back across your chest. And then roll it. Again, you'll reach. And then narrow. Drag it across. And a rotate open. And then you'll bend your elbow and bring it back across. Let's do two more like that. Let your head rest. Next, stay relaxed so that your arm movement is really the catalyst for any other movement. One more. Once you're stacked, let's do American Mills or a circle. So start by stretching your top arm a little longer again. You're going to circle it upward towards your ear. Your palm is overhead. When you can't go any further, rotate your whole chest, your armpit, your palm up to the ceiling. And then finish all the way down your hips. It'll roll back across you, and then you'll stack back where you started. Again, you'll reach. Circle it up. Rotate. And then keep circling until you stop. Let's do two more like this. One more. All right. All right. Take a second on that. Your 360 oh, space. And then you lay with your arms stacked again. Again, you're going to stretch your top arm a little longer, let your chest rotate to the floor a little bit. And then narrow your shoulder blade, start to drag your top arm across your bottom arm, across your chest, let your elbow flip open, your arm flip open, your palm is facing the ceiling. And then you'll bend your elbow and back to your shoulder. And back to the back. Again, you'll reach and narrow. Let your elbow flop open, let your arm flop open, and your chest. And then you'll rotate the back of your shoulder and go back to where you are. Like that. It makes me so happy. We got one more. Oh, I know, it's such a big stretch for me today. Okay, let's do a circle. Reach it a little longer, circle it upward. When it, you, when it can't go any further, rotate your whole chest, your arm, hit your palm up to the sky, and then continue circling your arm until it comes back to your side, it comes across you, and then you stack. Begin to reach, circle it, rotate open, palm up to the sky. Comes across and you can do Let's do two more. Again, just try to relax. Be relaxed. Oh. So your head just goes along for the ride. One more. Ah, that was awesome. 
I'm just taking the bits that got me built over there. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh, it's a miracle. I can't believe what that just did for my body. Okay, let's grab our wine bottle or our weights, whatever it is. This is another really hard one. Um, we're going to have your front arm and leg straight out. Your um, front arm is out in a T. Your back leg is bent with your foot on the floor. And then reach your wine bottle straight up to the ceiling right over your shoulder. Just drop it on your face or your weight, whatever you have. Just don't drop it on your face or on the floor. You're going to rotate to lay on your side. Your wine bottle stays right up where it was. So you want to think of if it was like a glass of wine, you're trying not to spill it. You're going to twist, lay on your back, your shoulder blade lay. Do it again. You're going to rotate. Oh, try not to fall over your weight. And then you'll untwist, lay on your back. If you'd like a little more challenge for your core, straighten your legs out and then try it there. You're going to twist onto your side. And then make sure when you lay on your legs, your shoulder blades, both shoulder blades have to get back to the floor, so your mat, whatever you're on. Either way, you're on the floor. And if you're feeling pretty strong today, confident in your control, you can try your top arm straight up next to your ear, and you'll be laying on your arm as you roll. But you don't want to roll. All the time. Let's do three more. One more. Okay. okay. That was fun. Let's do the other side. And your front arm is straight out, your front leg is straight out, back arm has your weight or your bottle, whatever it is, back leg is bent. And again, you're going to rotate, lay on your side completely, and then you'll untwist, roll all the way to your back. Again, you'll rotate, up, mind from spilling, whatever you've got. And then you can try both legs up a little bit forward, both legs straight side. And then all of them. Make sure make it back in the Use your eyes. Make it to Control it back again. Try to get both shoulder blades down without thudding them. Let's do one more. your wine bottle, your weight, whatever it is, carefully out of the way. Sorry, I'm just done. I'm sorry, Heather, I'm muting you because I was getting a little echo. And I'm trying to put these all on YouTube so that you guys can go back and watch if you want to redo or if you can't make class time. Um, let's grab your roller and have your weight or your wine bottle, whatever it is that you're using, close by. And then you're going to be on your back on the roller. So you can sit straddling it towards one end. Let's see. 
Oh, and then lay on your back. So you want your whole spine, your head, and your tailbone on the roller. I mean, technically your tailbone isn't on the roller, it's curled up off of it, right? But everything from head to tail on your roller. And we'll leave the weight close by, your wine bottle, whatever it is close by. We're not gonna use it just quite yet. So let's do a little bit of marching to start. So just keeping your pelvis stable. As you exhale, bring one leg up to tabletop. And inhale down. Exhale, other leg up. Inhale down. Keep alternating. Just trying to keep your body stable. You can do arms out in a T for a nice chest stretch. It also gives you a little more stability here. Let's go one more each way or until you're even. And then bring your legs up to tabletop one at a time. You're going to hold it there and then toe taps here. So drop one knee as if you're going to tap your toe to the floor and then fold it back up. Drop as if you're going to tap, fold it up. Let's go until we're even. And then set your feet down one at a time. And then we'll do little dead bug variations. So you're going to bring one opposite arm and leg up. <laughs> Don't do it like that. <laughs> opposite arm and leg up and then set it down. And then the other opposite arm and leg and back down. So I was looking towards you guys and my body started to go where I was looking. I was rolling oh, to my right side. So much harder for me on that side. So just go slow enough. Oh, there we go. So that you have control and make sure you're not tensing through your chest, right through your neck as you do this. Let's go until we're even. Oh, now I am even. Oh, that was truly miserable. All right, let's bring legs to tabletop once more. Oh, and then make them as straight as you can to the ceiling. Point your feet and then start to slowly lower one leg as far as you can go, unless you run into the couch. <laughs> and reach your heel to the floor. You can let your knee bend if you have to. And then you're going to bend your top knee in towards your chest. Maybe if you feel pretty balanced here, maybe try hugging your knee in towards your chest a little more and you'll get a little bit of a hip flexor stretch on that straight leg. There with my bottle. And then you're going to bring both legs straight back up to the ceiling. Start to slowly lower your other leg <laughs> again. Let it until it reaches the floor. You can let it bend if you have to. And then bend your other knee in towards your chest. And again, if you would like to and you feel balanced, you could try drawing that knee in towards your chest a little. Oof. And then set both feet down, walk them in so that they're hip joint distance apart with your feet on the floor. And you're going to grab that weight or your bottle, whatever it is that you got. And you're going to bring it up over your chest. Make sure you've got a solid grip on it. Please don't drop anything on your face. And then keeping the rest of your body, the roller, as still as you can. Drop your arm open into a T-shape and then bring it back up. Drop your other arm open into a T-shape and then bring it up. Drop oof, and up. Drop and up. And it's obliques here that we're working. Oh, your tummy muscles, the ones that make it hard to breathe because they bring your, your middle section out a little bit. Oh. Let's go one more each way. Whew, that was hard. All right. Grab your weight or your bottle in one hand, reach it straight up to the ceiling, and then bring your other leg to tabletop. And then you're going to reach your arm and your leg straight away from each other and then bring them back in. Reach them away, bring them in. And again, as you do this, you're trying to keep the rest of your body as stable as you can. Two more. One more. 
And then reach them out, hold them there. Reach your arm and your leg away from each other. Bring them in. So your leg goes in the direction that it's on. Your arm goes in the direction that it's on. Can we do two more? It's hard. Do one more. Oh, bring it all in. Whew, let's do the other side. I should be quieter. My dad is napping. I feel bad. Oh, all right. Arm up to the ceiling. Other leg to tabletop. And then again, opposite arm and leg reach. Straighten the, the leg out. Reach your bottle behind your head. And then bring it back in. Reach and in. Reach and in. Let's do two more. One more. And then reach and hold it. Arm and leg move away. Bring them to center. Arm and leg move away. Bring them to center. Two more. Center. One more. Center. Set it all down. Whoo. All right. Set the bottle. Weight, whatever it is, out of the way. And let's do a little pelvic press here. Let's do an articulating bridge since we've got the roller. It's a nice spot to kind of even stuff out through your spine and pull where you're imprinting. All right, arms relax by your side, feet hip joint distance apart. And as you exhale, imprint your spine. Again, you'll start to peel your hips away from your roller until you're resting right between your shoulder blades. Take a breath in, exhale to roll down. And again, exhale to imprint. Press through the heels as you start to roll up into your bridge. Little breath in at the top. Exhale to roll down. Whew. If you want a little extra challenge, try with both arms reaching straight up right over your chest. So little breath in. Exhale, imprint. Abs first. Roll on up. Sip of air at the top. Exhale, roll down. Again, tummy in, roll up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to roll down. Let's do two more like that. One more. All right, once you're at the bottom of your bridge, grab your weight or your bottle. So that arm thingy that we were doing earlier, we are going to try that here. I would say start small because it's a lot easier to just come off of your roller completely here. So start small so nobody's going for a little spill on the floor. All right. It's in both hands. It's up over your shoulders, up over your chest. Feet are still where they're at. Take a breath in here and exhale, roll up. All right, at the top of your bridge, keep your weight in one hand. Drop that arm open towards a T-shape and then bring it back up. You're gonna carefully switch hands, dropping your arm and your weight to the side and then back up. Drop and up. Try to keep the rest of your body as still as you can here. Oh. Let's go one more each way. Mm, so hard. Oh, come on out of your bridge. Let's set your bottle, your weight down, whatever it is. And then just take a minute to take a chest stretch here, just opening your arms out into a T. And then you can kind of hook your shoulder blade around the roller by shifting your weight away, shifting your rib cage away from your arm that you're intending to stretch and you'll feel how your shoulder blade kind of hooks in there. Oh, and you'll keep shifting right away from that side that you're stretching. And I also feel a really big chest stretch here because our shoulder right, is like this girdle that connects the back and the front. Oh, so the whole thing as it widens, the front of it widens with it. Oh, God, that feels good. You guys can try the other side. I really kind of just want to stay on this side today. Really needs it, but hooking that shoulder blade in. 
And again, you'll shift away from that side that you're stretching. Sorry for all my sound effects. <laughs> Everything feels so good today. I was hunched over in like a lounge chair outside on my computer for hours yesterday, just like working. Turns out probably not the best way to sit at a computer for an extended period of time. All right, once you're even, you're gonna roll over to one side, spill yourself off of there and help yourself up. Oh. Let's come to hands and knees. So in all fours position, we'll put our props on hold for a moment and let's just do a few rounds of cat camel or cat cow. So shoulders over your wrist creases, knees underneath your hip joints. And as you inhale, start to arch your spine, reach your head and tail to the sky. Exhale, round your spine, head and tail to the floor. Again, inhale, arching, head and tail to the sky. Exhale, round, head and tail to the floor. Keep going like this on your own breath. Let's go two more. One more. And then come back to your neutral spine. You're gonna shift your weight back towards your feet as you round your spine like cat. So as you exhale, scoop the belly in, roll back, and you're gonna go into like an extended child's pose type thing with your arms reaching straight out ahead of you. Whew. And then as you exhale, scoop your belly in, roll through your spine, come into your camel. So you'll arch the spine, head and tail to the sky at the end. Exhale, scoop the belly in, Reach your hips back towards your heels. Head goes down and then roll up. Oh, through your cat into your camel. Again, scoop the belly and roll back. Butt to your feet, round up. Go into your camel. Woo, one more time. Roll back, belly in, butt to feet, roll up. Go into your camel and then come back to your neutral spine. Grab your weight, grab your bottle and you're going to have it right underneath your chest in your tabletop. And maybe face you guys and that'll be fine. All right. So keep your everything still, keep your everything still, except for your arm that you, is going to pick up the bottle. I don't care which one it is. You're going to bring it out to the side. And then bring it back home. Bring it out to the side, bring it back home. You can keep your elbow a little bent here. So you can think of these as like flies, the flies, these guys, right? That people do with weights. We're just, we're using a lighter weight. So by changing our relationship with gravity, by being on all fours, it makes the weight just a little heavier. Two more. And then reach your arms straight back by your side, tricep press, bend and straighten. Three more. No, I lied. We're not going to do three more. Now we're going to do five more. It's light, right? Two and one more. And then reach it straight out. Bicep curl. Bicep curl. Just a little bicep curl. So we're getting a little extension in, right? You actively have to straighten your arm here as you also have to bend it which requires your bicep and your tricep. Two more. Oh. All right, take a minute to just take weight off your wrist, let your blood rush out of your head, and then we'll do the other side. I always get so happy when Pilates makes my body feel better. Oh. All right, I'm doing a fist on this side. My wrist has been bothering me because I hold my hand with that phone. I hold my phone with that hand. <laughs> Uh, all right, so weight in your other arm. Again, your little flies here. So you're bringing your arm out and in, out and in. We've got four more, three more, two more, 
one more, and then elbow by your side for triceps. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Try not to lean away from your weight. You know, I was starting to notice I was doing that. Try to keep your elbow still so it's not swinging around. Stillness in the back of your arm. So you got five, four, three, two, and one. And then flip your palm, bicep curl, bicep curl, all the way straight, bicep curl. Again, try to keep your elbow still. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, let's set it down. I need a little water break. Maybe you guys should have water with me. So you stay hydrated. Okay, that wasn't a little water break. That was like a big water break. Thanks, guys. All right. I know what we'll do. Roller will go under your legs. We're gonna do a little um, uh, hip and core work and then some nice stretches. So you lay on your back. You do not need your weight close by for this. You're gonna lift your hips up, put your roller under your sacrum or like top of your butt, wherever it feels pleasant or at least comfortable um, and it's not making your back arch or round too too much. So from here you can hold the outer edges of your roller so it doesn't escape you and then bring your legs up into tabletop one at a time and we'll keep doing those toe taps we were doing earlier. So you're going to drop one knee and then bring it up. Drop your other knee, bring it up. Again just go as far as your spine and your hips stay stable. Oh. So much work today. You want to think of moving your leg from your inner thigh, then trace that line to where your inner thigh would be closest to your spine. And then it runs up your spine. Let's go one more each way. Whew. Let's do both legs at the same time. So legs bent at 90 degrees. Next exhale, lower both knees. Whew, my body did not want to do that today. And then pull them back up. Again, only going as far as everything stays pretty stable, right? Hard for me today. Let's go two more. All right, got it together for the last one. <sighs> Straighten your legs to the ceiling. Whew. You're gonna drop one leg down and then hold it there. Flex your foot. You're gonna lift your leg an inch, lower an inch. Lift it an inch, lower an inch. And you can try seeing how low you can go while keeping the rest of your body neutral and stable. And then from that lowest point, that's where you move your leg. Up and down, up down to your lowest point. You don't have to make it go further down each time. Oh, I'm getting the shakes. Two more. One more. And then let your leg whew, relax towards the floor. You can let it bend as much as you need to here. And then hug your other knee in towards your chest. You want to think of drawing your navel to the floor, so you're imprinting your spine, but not really on anything. <laughs> it's the action of imprinting without actually a surface to imprint onto. And we're stretching our hip flexors out, and it should feel pretty awesome, hopefully. You're gonna bend your bottom leg in, dragging it on the floor, and then bring both legs in. Straighten them back up to the ceiling again, and we'll do the other side. So slowly start to lower the other leg, flex your foot. When your leg can't go any further, you're gonna lift an inch, lower an inch, lift an inch, lower an inch, up an inch, down an inch, or something like that. I'm probably moving more than 
an inch. Again, see how low you can go oh, without arching your spine. You're moving your leg from where your inner thigh and your spine meet. Two more. Nope. And then lower your leg to the floor. Oh, let it relax. You can bend your other knee in towards your chest. And again, that action of trying to imprint your spine will help to create a little deeper stretch here. <sighs> Slide your bottom leg on the floor, hug both knees in towards your chest, and here you can just let your spine round here. So you're getting a nice big back stretch. Just letting the knees collapse in towards the chest. Oh, and then reach both legs straight back up to the ceiling. Oof. Let's do single leg stretch here. So feet are, uh, feet are pointed, legs are straight. Drop one leg down, pulse the other leg in towards you twice, and then switch. with two blows out, inhaling quick sniff of air. Let's go one more each way. <sighs> then set your feet down, lift your hips up, slide the roller out from there. Then you're going to walk your feet onto your roller. We'll do some bridging. So feet are hip joint distance apart. So you've got the arches on that roller. Oh. You can do arms in a T or relax by your side, and you're going to take your gaze right up at the ceiling over your eyeballs. Take a breath in, and as you exhale again, you're up. you'll imprint your spine, start to roll up. A little breath in at the top, exhale to roll down. And again, inhale at the bottom, exhale, press through the feet as you start to peel up. Inhale, and exhale, roll down. Let's do three more like that. Two more. And then this time you're going to hold your bridge. One more time. Press through the feet, roll up and hold it. Shift your weight into your left foot. Oh, reach your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Keep it straight, you're gonna lower it down, lift it up. Lower it down, lift it up. Do that three more times, two more times, one more time. Woo, set your foot down. Oh boy, we got the other side. Shift your weight into your other foot. And then the other leg goes straight up to the ceiling. Oh. Keep it straight, drop it down, lift it up, drop, lift. We've got three more, two more, one more. Set it down, roll, come down however. Oh boy, we have more bridging to do. All right, we'll just do one more. This is the fun one. We're gonna roll back up one more time. Hold it in your bridge. Slide the roller out a few inches, in a few inches, out a few inches, in a few inches. Try not to let your butt drop as you do this. Oh, three, two, it is escaping me, <laughs> and one, Whew. come on down. You guys can hug knees into chest. Oh, yay for being done with those. I'm really happy about that. And let's give hamstrings one more stretch out. If you guys want, you can put the roller back under your hips. It can be a nice way to get a counter hip flexor stretch. So it would go in the same position 
that we had it in previously before the feet were on there. And then you'll find your oh, hamstring stretch. And then you can let the other leg kind of dangle. Ooh, that feels good. Make sure your knee is straight. You're not tensing your upper body. <sighs> Let's switch legs. got your other leg straight, you're firming the front of your thigh, flexing your foot. Hmm. All right, set your feet down if you've got that roller under there, slide it out from there. Let's put your, actually we'll use your roller for ah, mermaid stretch. So move your weight out of the way if it happens to also be a bottle of wine. Quick little hydration pit stop. And then you'll take your mermaid fit. Let's do roller to your left side. So both knees are gonna point left. And I know this is comfortable for you guys, but if anybody is re-watching this, Sit however you're comfortable if this doesn't make your hips or your back happy or your knees or anything else. So your hands on your roller, your other arm is open. You're gonna roll it out, sliding over it with your palm and arm and then roll to sit back up. Inhale to bend and exhale to come up. Inhale, keep your weight off of that arm so that you're using your obliques to support you a little more. Ooh. Let's do that two more times. One more time, we're gonna hold it. Inhale to side bend, exhale, rotate towards your roller, and then walk your hands out so that they're shoulder width distance apart. You can push the roller out a little bit, lower your chest, and then bring it in, lift your chest. Press it out a little, lower your chest, pull it in, lift the chest. Three more like that. Two more. One more. Roll it out halfway. Walk your back arm to the front arm, twist open, and then sit all the way up. Let's do the other side. Oh, sorry. All right, off to your right side now. Open your left arm with your palm up. Right palm is flat on your roller. Inhale to side bend, and exhale, come back up. Again, inhale to bend, and exhale, back up. Keep going like that. Again, you're trying to keep your weight off of that roller. <clears throat> Let's go two more. One more. Side bend, hold it. Rotate towards your roller. Plant your palms down. Oh, press it out. This is a really good stretch on this side for me today. I always say that. I always say something like that. And then you'll bring it in, lift your chest. Press it out, lower your chest. Bring it and lift the chest, flat tummy. Press it out, lower. Three more. Two. One. And then reach it up. Walk your back hand in. Rotate back towards me. And then come all the way upright. Whew. All right, what do I feel like we need next? Let's try um, roll downs on your roller. It can be pretty challenging, so it might be nice to start with your feet up against a wall if you have an easy situation like that to find. And I don't mean like up the wall, but like against them, so they're like wedged in between where the floor and the wall meets. Um, and then you'll sit on your roller lengthwise. I'm trying to decide which, which way I want to face. And if this couch, yeah, the couch will help me a little if I feel like I'm getting wobbly. Oh. So sit towards the very edge of it, and then you'll look straight ahead. You can have your feet as wide as you want to start. That might help you feel a little bit more stable. Take a breath in here. Exhale, roll back. Scoop the belly in. 
Go slow. If you need to, set your hands down. It's fine. Oof. Oh, it's hard. <sighs> All right, I overshot it a little. So make any adjustments you need to on your roller. Wow, that was not graceful. So that your head is on there. And let's try to roll back up. Here is where your um, surface right, could be helpful. I don't know how this is going to go for me, so I'm going to have my feet under here in case of emergency. Oh, let's try with arms up overhead. And you'll start to circle your arms, nod your chin, heal yourself up. Yes. Okay. And then all the way up tall at the end. Let's try it again. Exhale, scoop the tummy and roll back. Okay. Oh, arms up overhead, circle, nod your chin, start to roll up. I'm keeping my arms on the floor, circling them, and then I leave them on the floor. I'll talk you through that next time. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, circle them out to a T, and this is where they'll stay as you roll up, so they kind of drape along your side a little bit behind you. Let's do one more like that. Roll back. Oh boy. Arms up, circle them out, nod the chin, oh, roll to sit back upright. All right, come on off of there. Let's do, um, we'll do a little quad and shin release on here, which is also some ab work for us. So you'll kneel with the roller kind of underneath your ankle area, and then walk your hands back so that they're under your shoulders when you're in this little bunny position. You're gonna lift your knees up, press the knees out, pull them in, press them out, pull them in. Try to keep your spine neutral and stable. I'm doing my fist today because like I said, my wrists are bothering me because I'm being an irresponsible cell phone owner. Two more. One more. Oh. Bring it in, set your feet down. Or your knees. Don't set your feet down. All right, you're gonna cross one calf over the other. You'll lift your knees up. Rotate your hips to the direction of your top leg. All right, so my right leg is crossed over, my hips and torso, or hips and lower body are twisting right. You're gonna press out and in there. We'll go five. I'm losing my roller. Four. Three, two, one. Bring it in, set everything down so that we can switch sides. Cross your other leg over, knees up, rotate your hips, press out and in for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, set it all down. Whew. Okay, that was fun. We're not gonna do quads, I like, because we have too much stuff that we haven't worked out yet. So maybe we will do them later. Nah, I think we've got time. Let's just spend like three minutes there. Sorry, I'm so indecisive today. All right, so from there, roller is now in front of your knees. Set the center of your thighs, center of your quads on there, and then come under your forearms. And you're just doing your plank work. We're getting a little shoulder work here. Pressing out through your elbow, pulling yourself back up over your shoulder. Oh, over your elbows. Press it out. Pull it in. And you can adjust a little bit if your shoulders don't like going into this much. This is flexion technically, right? When my elbows go towards overhead. You can always just stay small right where you are and then adjust where the roller is if you want to go further. So we're basically holding plank here. <laughs> Let's do this for two more breaths, one more breath, and then you can pull it in, set your knees down, Whew. sit on up. Now let's put the roller away, and you guys will lay on your side, and we'll do a little sideline legs. So you can have your, <clears throat> excuse me, 
your head on your bottom arm, head propped up in your hand, pillow, whatever it is that's comfiest. Stretch your top leg straight up and then up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then bend your knee in towards your chest, straighten it back behind you. Bend it in, reach it out. Bend and reach, bend and reach. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and then bend your knee in, stack your feet, stack your knees, clamshell it open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. Five, that's a lay. We've got three, two, one, and then clamshell it open, knees together, feet together, knees together, external, internal, external, internal. Four, three, two, one, and then set it on down. <sighs> lift your whole leg, lower the whole leg. Lift like a fire hydrant, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. We've got four, three, two, one. Whew. Let's do the other side. Oh. Do whatever is comfy for your head and neck support, your arm, your palm, the pillow, and then straighten your top leg out. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knee in towards your chest, straighten it back behind you. In towards your chest, back behind you. In and straight. In, straight. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Did we do circles here? Five. Did we do circles? I don't remember. Three. We're doing them anyway. Two, one, and then switch. Okay. Now we're doing clamshells. I don't think we did them, but that's okay. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. Sometimes when I teach twice in a day, Everything starts to blend together. I'm like, which was which? Especially if I wear the same outfit. So we've got two more. I'm still counting. And then clamshell, knee shell. Foot shell, knee shell. Foot shell, knee shell. We've got four, three, two, one. And then whole leg up, whole leg down. Whole leg up, whole leg down. Up, down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, drop it on down. You guys can lay on your back and take a figure four stretch. I didn't like those last ones that I did on this side, so I'm just getting a couple extras in. Oh. Make sure you're keeping your foot flexed. That's crossing over. And then switch sides. Oh, tight. Okay, let's uncross the legs, straighten them out on the floor, and you're gonna roll. Oh, onto your stomach now. Have your palms down so that they are right outside of your shoulders. Reach your legs long, shoulders away from ears. And then you'll pick your face up off the floor, take your gaze ahead, and then reach the crown of your head to the sky. And then lower it down. Nod your chin, place your forehead on the floor. And again, you'll pick up your face, pick up your gaze, reach the crown of the head up to the sky, and then lower. Nod your chin, place it down. Let's do it again. Face up, gaze up, 
head up. Maybe you take your gaze up here and then slowly lower it down one more time. Face up, gaze up, crown of the head to the sky. Maybe you pick your gaze up too and then you lower it all down and then rest here. You guys can rest your head on your hands, walk your feet a little wider than your hips and then just rotate your legs in and out, rotating your hips side to side. Just releasing through the SI joint, loosening up the hips and back. And then still that movement, plant your palms on the floor under your shoulders, press yourself up, walk your knees in. And then you'll sit your bum back towards your feet, taking a child's pose. Do whatever's comfy with your arms. You can keep them extended like this. You can make a pillow for your face with your hands, or you could bring them back by your side. Traditional child's pose. Take one more deep breath in here, sliding your palms under your shoulders if they weren't there already. And as you exhale, you'll roll. Sit it up tall. Just coming into whatever comfortable seated position you'd like. And give your shoulders a little roll out. And as you inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, seal your palms, bend your hands down through center. And that is it, you guys are done with class. Thank you guys so much for joining today.